Hello and welcome to another DIY Engineers video. In this video I'll be going over the MPU 6050 module which has a 3-axis accelerometer and a 3-axis gyroscope all in one, meaning it can measure accelerations on the X, Y and Z axis and also measure rotational velocity along those same axes. In the video we'll be covering the sensor pins and directions, how to connect it to the Arduino Uno, programming in Arduino, testing in Arduino and even doing a 3D modeling simulation to show what the sensor is reading as you move it. So if you're interested, please join us for the rest of the video. Let's get started. So now let's talk about the MPU6050 module and the main parameters. It has an accelerometer range that can go from plus or minus 2G to plus or minus 4G, or you can also run in a plus or minus 8G or 16G. Or of course, G is a gravitational constant, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. For the gyroscope, which is also built into the, the module, you can have it at plus or minus 250 degrees per second, plus or minus 500, 1,000, or 2,000. All, all of them in degrees per second. It has an input voltage of 3.3 volts all the way to 5 volts, which means you can feed it with your Arduino Uno. So now, what are our pins? It has eight pins. We have VCC where we provide the power input, ground for the ground which connects to your Arduino ground. Then we have SCL and SDA for the I2C clock pin and your data pin. And you also have XDA and XCL for external I2C pins for data and clock. You have a pin called ADO which allows you to change the I2C address of the module in case you're running other things in I2C. And then you have an interrupt pin which allows it to wake up whenever there's any action or sensing going on. You can also see in the actual board, so you can see here, there's a, a Y and an X axis shown by the right hand rule, then you know that Z will be up as, as I've shown here on this axis shown. And then you have roll and pitch and yaw relative to those axes. Here's how you would connect it to the Arduino Uno. We actually, in this example, are only showing five inputs connected because we're not using the external I2C pins or we're not changing the I2C address. So we first have VCC, connected to 5 volts on the Arduino Uno. We have ground connected to ground. SCL is connected to the SCL pin and SDA is connected to the SDA pin. And then we have the interrupt which we're connecting to digital input output number 2 on the Arduino Uno. So now the next step is to go ahead open Arduino and let's install the required library. To do that you go to sketch, include library and then click on manage libraries. You then want to go ahead to the search bar and type MPU 6050. The one you're interested in is this one, which I already have installed. All you would have to do is select and click install. I won't do it since I already have it. So once you do, the next thing you want to do is go to file, example, and go to MPU 6050 and click on MPU 6050 DMP6. And this will open the main example that we're going to be using for this. So to start using this example from the library, all we have to do is scroll down to the section where we define what outputs we want. So in here we have the quartenians, we have the Euler angles, yaw roll pitch, which is turned on by default. We have real acceleration, world acceleration, and the teapot, which is for 3D visualization. In this case, we have yaw, pitch, roll already turned on. All we're going to do is uncomment this one. So that we can get the real acceleration and if you read it the lines or the comments above says you know to uncomment that if you want the acceleration with gravity removed this will be acceleration within the reference frame basically of the accelerometer so x plus will always be x plus regardless of the way this sensor is looking at which means that we're we're recording and outputting the acceleration from the sensor's frame of reference if you want something different, then take a look at output uh, readable world acceleration, which basically will adjust the output such that the frame of reference is relative to the world and not relative to the sensor. So with that, we can go ahead and send this code to the Arduino so we can test the sensor. So let's go ahead and press upload. Now that we're done loading, we can go ahead and open this real monitor and you're required to enter an input here and then press enter. So for a second I'm just going to stop the auto scroll so you can see this is essentially giving you the acceleration and then this is the jaw roll pitch angle. The angle is presented in degrees relative to the original orientation so anything you see here can be minor noise and this is actually supposed to be a value that can go from negative 32,750 to positive 32,750 where that is just the numeric value 
and how much sensitivity just depends if you pick the option for 2G, 4G, 8G, or 16G that we talked about earlier. Or 1G equals 9.81 meters per second square or 32.19 feet per second square. The default setting for acceleration is 2G. Basically, this means barely no acceleration. Now, I'll go ahead and turn on the auto scroll again. We can go to the bottom and you can see that if I change now the orientation, we're seeing some accelerations as I move it and also some different angles. So now let's go ahead and change the code to perform some 3D model visualization using processing IDE. All we got to do is go to the same section that we edited before. We will comment the line that we had been using before to get the jaw roll pitch angle in degrees. Same thing for acceleration. And we uncomment this one that says output teapot. So with that, just go ahead and upload the code. Okay. So now we're ready from the Arduino standpoint. All we have to do now is install processing IDE, place the right code on processing IDE and run it so we can visualize the orientation of our sensor. Now I left the link in the description to take you to the processing IDE download page. Click it and once you get there, make sure to click the link to the operating system that you own. For me, it'll be Windows 64 bit, which I will click to start my download. Once fully downloaded, Go ahead and click to extract all the files. This will take some time. So now open the folder and double click on processing IDE to start the program. And all you gotta do is start to import the required library. So go to sketch import and import library, which will open the contributions manager. And there you need to type toxic and then pick the toxic libs to install the toxic library. Once you click install, it will start downloading and then it will start installing. Shown on fast forward so you don't have to wait forever for it to install. Once complete install, it will show as installed and then on the top row where it says status, eventually you will see a green check mark showing fully installed. So now that you have all required libraries for processing IDE, you have to open the required file to run the 3D visualization. So go to file open and you need to go to the right location of the Arduino folder that contains the library for MPU 6050 and find this file. So you can see here that for me is on my PC, then documents Arduino. And then from there on, once you get to the, your main Arduino file is libraries, MPU 6050, examples, MPU 6050 DMP6, processing, MPU teapot, and then you select this file. This is it. And once you get here, all you have to do is then click run. We'll take a little bit and then it will show a window with the 3D model. All right, so now you can see the output of processing IDE and a video of me moving the accelerometer through a 3D printed part that looks like an airplane. So you can see that as I move it in space, processing IDE mimics the shape and the orientation of such shape in space. I move it up and down or sideways and it also goes along with it. So you can see that the MPU 6050 is processing the angles pretty well and keeping up with it through the integration of the gyroscope and accelerometer to keep you know track of motion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. Thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye.